PSA collector. I mean, I've been buying them. I like Akeem. A lot of people do. I think he's a good investment. Yeah. I mean, look at his resume. And this is a uh, guys. If you if you get familiar with this website, basketball reference, football reference, baseball, and you get familiar with impressive resumes and not so impressive resumes, when you come across one, it's a it's an immediate sign. Like yes, definite good investment. Now what I'm looking for here are MVPs, NBA championships, uh, wins. He's got two rings. He's got one MVP. But also these like uh, All Star team. He's a 12 time All Star, which is impressive. You know his his career tenure. How long did he play? So 18 seasons, nine time All Defensive Team. You know stuff like this. I think this is a very impressive resume. He cemented himself in history. Now, which cards would you be going for? Obviously, so he was drafted in '84, the same year as Jordan and Stockton before '86. So there's no basketball cards in 84 and 85, aside from the, the star cards, which I don't advise investing in right now. I, I don't see the market s switching on the star cards, but so 86 Fleer is Hakeem's rookie card, 80, 1986 Fleer, and they're already expensive. I think it's it was spelled with a, a, not an H yet. <laughs> Yeah, it was both of them A. Now, if that's obviously his, his go-to card, but if you're looking for cheap stuff, uh, guys, check out the PSA card website, okay? So if you don't know, PSA keeps a, a graph of the cards. Now, this is another website you need to get familiar with. So I'm gonna type in Akeem. I just type in his last name. And it's gonna pull up all his cards. So his very first card is 86 Fleer. Uh, let's see what the market's doing on his card. So I click his name, click any one right here, like any of these, just click one and it's gonna pull up this menu. Now you filter through all these. So click the 10 and let's see what the, where the, whoops. Let's see where the market is on the tens. What's it, what's it doing? Are they going up? Are they going down? And boom, right there. So you can see for the longest time, the PSA tens were around $500 and it just did not break the $500 mark. I mean, maybe a couple times, but still it was stagnant. And then it slowly started going up and then boom, look at that double, dang, 6,000. Yeah, that, <laughs> if you were paying 500 a piece for him in uh, you know, the end of 2019, 860, 1,000 beginning of this year, and now they're at 6,000. So it had a spike, obviously this is around this time of the year, a lot of cards had a spike and then it, they, they're, they dropped back off and the, the correction happened and now they have, they found new support. So. I would feel comfortable in saying that a PSA 10 Akeem, PSA 10 Akeem, $6,000 right now. It's gonna be, you know, it, I don't think, it, I don't see it falling below 6K. But you wanna look at these graphs. So let's see another option on the Akeem. Uh, let's see, let's see the 87 Fleer. Second year, well, not technically second year because he was drafted in 84. So, but still, look at that thousand dollars for for a ten have that what, what, what happened okay so yeah dang so they, they've never been cheap really they're going up and then you also want to look at the nines what are what are, what are the nines doing going up 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 probably a hundred dollars is the new support so they're not going to get any cheaper than a hundred dollars they're going to go up I think and that's the, uh, I mean, I like this design. These cards were so cheap for the longest time. That's a cool picture of Akeem too. He's like a young guy, younger guy. Young. Sick looking uh, design for the logo, the team logo. So that's what I do guys. That's what I do. I literally, I sit here and I filter through. If, it depends what I'm doing. I like to do modern, I like to do vintage. I like to do the 90s and you know, switch it up. But I just go through here and I look and I, you know, make my own assessment on which cards I think are so that a good pickup. So those were his vintage, obviously. And then you can also like I've been doing lately to check out the 90s stuff. And that's kind of a, a you know, tough decision because how many Akeem collectors are going to want the like the beam team? I think someone said something about the beam team. How many collectors are going to want the beam team? Let's go ahead and look at that up. Look that up real quick. 92 because Beam Team is a hot set because of the Shaq card. And that's kind of what I go to, the, the iconic sets. So the 86 Fleer is iconic, but that's also his rookie card. Uh, you know, Beam Team is iconic because of the Jordan and the Shaq. So let's check that out real quick. Beam Team Akeem. 
and just see where the market is. Now, for the most part, I, from what I've seen, the cards have had a, all cards have had a spike. You know, at the beginning of this year. Which, nope, this one, uh, 2018, 19. It's, uh, sometimes there's not that much data to, to, to look at. But you can see right here, in the past couple of months, about 200 bucks for the PSA 10. I think these Stadium Club Beam Team cards, PSA 10s, are a good investment. Plus, that's a sick looking card. I mean, photo. I think the Beam, and guys, this set is absolutely loaded with Hall of Fame players, the 92 Beam Team set. I mean, it's, it's like the best set, I think. It was one of the very first insert cards of the 90s. Tops didn't start making basketball cards until 1992. Uh, 92 is a, a, a great year in so many different ways, um, I think. And that's what attracted me to the Bean Team set initially. That and the, Sha the Shaquille. And how undervalued they were. So let's look at the other stuff. What, uh, what would be a 92, 93? Yeah, they didn't put Akeem in the Scoring King. Some insert sets, some sets they just didn't put the, some players in. Um, but there is a lot of Akeem. If you want to get ideas, I go to eBay and type in Olajuwon. Is that how you spell it? Um, and you can't go wrong with refractors. If I mean, Topps Chrome is just a a guaranteed good investment with the refractor cards. Okay, so here's a 12, I mean 14. This would, this would be something I would consider because it's a refractor, 96. Now the Topps Finest Mystery, that's not, that set really isn't the hottest. You wanna go with like the base Topps Chrome stuff. Bowman Chrome, uh, Atomic Refractor, the Bowman's Best, I think. But Topps Chrome is, by far the best to get in any player in the night from the 90s i think hall of fame players not any player i'm sorry the hall of fame players legendary players hall of fame you know players so let's see where akeem's 96 is 1996 and i actually just bought a kevin garnett 2001 top scroll refractor for 25 bucks i remember i talked about that same refractor in the live I did with you guys a while ago and I was contemplating it and I went to go check if it was there and it was still there. I made an offer and I, he, he accepted for 25. All right, that's a sick looking one right there, 1999. Guys, you, I mean, if you don't know how rare these refractors were, go check the pop reports, okay? These are the, the base refractors. Now these insert type refractors, yeah, it's tempting. I mean, I, who, who knows, a year from now, two years from now, we I might be kicking myself for not buying them at $18. But right now, I'm more focused on the, the uh, these are really cool looking refractors though. I'm more focused on the base refractor cards. Those are, you know, very heavily taken off. Here's a Reggie Miller right here. 16, 15 watchers, 16 bucks, five days left though. Good centering potential PSA 9 maybe even a 10 if I can see the surface however it's tough to see the surface in, in these photos so if you want to do non rookie cards for you know basketball players that played in the 90s Hall of Fame start with the tops chrome even the uh, finest refractors so these 90, 93 finest I would even yeah so 93 is the first year of finest two dollars that, that's a refractor now you gotta be careful because sometimes they're listed as refractors and they're not. No, that's not a refractor. You, you can tell because it doesn't have that the shine. Although they, yep, they inserted it as one. I see that so many times, guys. You gotta be careful. These sellers, look at this guy. He has 4,000 feedback. He should know that's not a refractor. That's a base card. There's a huge different in, difference in value. So you can look at this one and tell. Yeah, that's a refractor. You can tell because it has the, uh, I mean, it takes kind of a trained eye to be able to tell real quick, but after you get familiar with it, you you can easily identify the refractors from the base. And if you start looking for them, you'll see how hard they are to find. And just to show you, let's do Jordan refractor. See if they have have had any recent ones. Okay, here's a nine for seventy six hundred, a B, BGS nine, which if that were a PSA. I think that would be more, but still seventy six hundred is nothing to sneeze at. And then I was watching a base Jordan. PSA 9. Yeah, that, yeah, these are, this is an iconic set. Very first year of Topps Chrome. PWCC had this up. Dang, that looks gem minty. 
Look at that centering on that. That, that buyer might resubmit that. So there's a couple ideas for Hakeem. He's probably still very cheap, I think, compared to, you know, Jordan and Kobe and Shaq. And, but guys, the market is taking off so quick on these cards. So if you don't want to go 96, definitely go to 97. And then 98 and then 99 and so forth. <laughs> the Triumvate Stadium Club. Yeah, I've been looking at those as well. The, uh, the Luminescence, the Luminescent, I think it's called, the, like the refractor types. Those are hard to pull. So this would have been a great pickup right here. October 18th. A couple days ago. It sold for $21, 20, 30 bucks out the door. PSA 9 probably. Sick, sick looking card. Second year Topps Chrome. Oh man, if I was watching that. That card I can see in PSA 9K selling for, ooh, tough, tough, tough. Poss I would list it for over $100, easy. You know, maybe $199 by an hour best offer and see how many people start watching it. I know this is kind of a, a shady thing to do, but if I list the card and uh, like, you know, overnight 10 people are watching it, I go ahead and raise the price. <laughs> I, not that, I mean, I'll raise it. Yeah, I'll raise it up. Not like, you know, ridiculous, like nobody's gonna wanna pay for this, but I'll raise it maybe, depending on what card it is, I'll raise the price. Cause you guys never know where the market is and what people are paying attention to or not. It's hard to pay, it's hard to know all that. Uh, so, you know, all, all the, uh, the news on players. But let's see if he has any of those triumvate cards, and they're hard to spell. Hakeem, I'm not sure if he does or not. I think I'm, I'm, I would imagine he does. Oh yeah, he does. Dang, yeah, these are cool. He, he's a center one. So these are like they're die cuts, and they have typically three players, and they they mesh together. And I like the center ones the best, the center players, because they have uh, die cuts on both sides. But these are really cool cards too. That are slowly surfacing in popularity or, or surfacing in awareness, I guess. Here's the one on, on the right. It's a, it's just flat on the right and then somebody else is in the center, which these are cool too. I mean, either or, I like them all, I like them all. A mint nine and they were hard to pull, 35 bucks, 40 out the door. So if I wanted to f look and see how hard these were to pull, simply go to Google, 1999 um, Stadium Club, yep, basketball box just simple as that guys google go to look for the da card world they typically have the uh, best information oh no he failed me in this example <laughs> okay uh let's see maybe he has another one nope dang and it, this is kind of where it gets you know time consuming oh here we go okay so this is a 1999 2000 top stadium club chrome basketball inserts 10 visionaries Eyes of the game, true colors. Dang, no uh, triumvates. Maybe it was it was just Stadium Club. That's where research comes into play, guys. And you know, I do it a lot. Wait, that's you gotta you gotta get familiar with stuff. That way, you know if it's a good buy or not. The more rare, in my opinion, the better. Or the harder the pool, the better. The lower the population, the better. Unless it's the rookie card. You gotta give the rookie cards a break because. Uh, the hobby's blown up, it has blown up. So there's a lot more people collecting now than there were. Oh, the Skyview too, which is another good Akeem. I actually had picked one up and had one graded. But yeah, long story short, I definitely think Akeem is a good investment. Stick to the rookies and then uh, go to the iconic sets, 90 sets, iconic insert sets that have Hakeem in them. He's in a lot of inserts. He's got the... Uh, Hot numbers. I just I bought one of those. I have, them, I have one at PSA right now. That mid nine would have been a good deal. At Seventy one dollars. I think I paid thirty for the one I bought raw and ungraded. Oh dang! Look at that gem mint ten for one fifty four. So the hot numbers is a cool set. Go ahead and see what the bean team's at. I bet these are cheap. Ooh, fifty eight for a nine. Two hundred. Yep, about two hundred for a ten. That's PWCC. You can probably be able to find one cheaper for if you if you're patient.